All right, so Jets, Patriots, right? Uh, game three, week three. How, I mean, these when, when the season starts, it's so crazy to me how fast the season goes. Uh, it's already week three. So uh, one and one, right? In my opinion, this is a huge game because uh, I don't, their schedule's not getting easier. So, but aside from all that, what what do I always what have I been saying? I said it in the in the Jet Dallas prediction video. Uh, listen, man, it's about time that they beat the Patriots, and I not just beat them. They need to annihilate them. They need to embarrass them. I mean, they need to. You you, you know you want to talk about fucking what's a, what Sal is saying. Uh, all gas, no break, right? If that's what he says, I think, right? Well, if there was ever a game to to live up to that, this is the game. I want to see them annihilate the Patriots. So my prediction is simple. Jet victory, but a convincing jet victory. Uh, they're at home. So, and the crowd is going to be amped up. It's still early in the season, so I think it'll be sold out and loud. Uh, I was actually thinking about maybe trying to go to this game, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. But it's going to be, it's going to be another electric atmosphere over there. I, it's a one o'clock game, I believe. Uh, so listen, not much more to say with this video. Uh, a jet victory. You know, by hopefully fucking at least two touchdowns, three touchdowns. Like, I, I really want to see them bury this team. I want to see them bury Belichick. Here's another motivational factor for you. Are you ready? You beat the Patriots, right? Finally, you fucking beat them. But on, on top of that, <laughs> you put Belichick at 0-3. So there's your fucking motivation right there, man. Bury that guy, put him in a hole, fucking, you put him in, you put him at 0-3 and, and you basically, I don't give a fuck that he's Belichick or whatever, 0-3 is going to be tough for you to make the playoffs, motherfucker, so put that team at 0-3, um, that should be enough motivation for this team, you know, aside from the fact that they didn't really play that good against Dallas, so there's some more motivation for you. Um, if you watched my Dallas Jet post-game video, uh, I don't even want to see Dwayne Brown on the fucking field. Um, and not after what I saw against Dallas, man. And again, yes, I know he was going against Parsons, and Parsons is a game wrecker, and there's no doubt. It, that's, a, that's a tall order for any left tackle, but he... He was just letting the guy walk through every fucking play. I mean, it wasn't even a it wasn't even a, a contest, man. You know, and there's footage I have where you see him get beat, and he just turns around. He's just fucking standing there. He looks like he's gassed out, and he's just watching him chase down Zach and sack him. It's just fucking stand after you let him in, after you fucking let him buy you, and you just 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 watching him. <laughs> sack fucking Wilson, uh, you know, you, you let him through all fucking game. I, that was just, I, again, either put him on the right side, put Beckton on the left side, or just don't even play the fucking guy, man. I mean, he's done. In my opinion, he is done. He, he looked like an old fucking lineman. So just enough, man. You know, enough of this shit. Fix the offensive line already, man. You know, and it's not like, I don't think Doug, it's not, it's not like Douglas hasn't been trying to fix the offensive line. For some reason, It's this is a tall order for this team to fix because I, Douglas, I know, wants a strong offensive line. He's been trying to build one since he became the GM. And... <laughs> It, 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 the fucking line still looks like it's in shambles. It's crazy to me. So, uh, you know, get some shit going with that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So, Jet victory. 
against the Patriots. Uh, what, it'll be like the first time they beat the Patriots in like what? Fucking 12 years or something like that? I don't know. But you, you got to beat this team at some point, And this is the year to do it. I actually want to see them sweep the Patriots. I'm glad the Dolphins beat the fuck out of them. Well, I don't know if they beat the fuck out of them. I only saw the final score. It didn't look like they beat the fuck out of them, but I'm just glad the Dolphins beat them. The Dolphins look like they're, you know, a little scary this year, too. So we got to keep an eye on the Dolphins. Um, another thing to mention, uh, Nick Chubb, uh, brutal injury, brutal. I feel bad for the guy. Um... I wish him well. Uh, nobody deserves to get injured that fucking bad. They didn't even show the replay. That's how bad it was. But I watched it a few times in real speed. And if you watch it enough, you can see how bad that injury was. So, uh, you know, some prayers out for that dude. He's he's That could be a career-ending knee, knee injury. So, uh, you know, and he's, he's a good dude, you know, he's, you know, like I said, nobody deserves to get hurt like that. Like that was a, nobody deserves to get hurt period, but that's like one of those brutal injuries that could be career ending. So, uh, I wish that dude the best. Um, he's got a, he's got a, he's definitely got a big surgery coming up. Um, you know, and that's, that's a massive rehab from what I understand. That was his, uh, you know. That's the second time that same knee got like obliterated like that. And when I say obliterated, from what I saw, you know, it looked like, forget about hyperextending, man. Like that knee, his fucking leg, you know, like popped. Like, like if this is his, you know, it's supposed to bend this way, not fucking this way. So, uh, that's a brutal injury. So... You know, again, I wish the dude the best. Uh, uh, cause I, like I said, man, that's, that was a brutal injury. So, uh, other than that, let's take care of some fucking business this week with the Patriots.